So now that Jenkins is installed on our local machine, let's see how we can dif manage different configurations in our Jenkins instance. Right. So currently I'm logged in with a user which we created post installation. So the default security mechanism of Jenkins is it uh, maintains its own user database. So every user has to provide a username and password to log in. So this is the default security provided by uh, Jenkins. So let me just log in back to my instance. And then we, will, we are going to see how we can manage global security uh, within our Jenkins instance, right? So you can go to manage Jenkins and then there will be an option called configure global security. And there are two parts to it. One is authentication options and one is configuring the authorization options, right? So authentication is generally uh, how you can manage your users. So whether uh, you want them to give option to create a new user, like uh, Jenkins allows users to sign up at the login page itself. So we'll enable and we'll see how that happens. And then there is an option called disable remember me. So while we are logging in, in the login page, there is an option that remember me. So what will happen is uh, it will not ask you to log in every time. It will uh, it will have you logged in for some amount of time, right? So let's log out and uh, check both these options related to authentication. So before that, let me save uh, whatever changes I have done in the authentication configurations. And then we'll log out and we'll check uh, whether these are working or not, right? So now we should get an option to sign up directly at the login page. Previously, we were not getting that option, right? So here you can see, uh, please sign in below or create an account. So this is the option which we enabled, right? And uh, if I create an user like test, so just a random user. And right. And if I create an account, it will log in with this new user. So this is how simple uh, you can, if you're running an instance on a server, you can ask users to sign in directly, right? Without setting up all the users at a time. So, this is also an admin user, right? And we'll see that in our next section, but let's log out. And if you uh, can analyze properly, there is no remember me option here present, right? So let's log in back to our main user and Okay, sorry. Uh, right, and let's go back to our manage Jenkins and the global security configuration. So we saw some options related to uh, authentication. And in the next section, we are going to see um, the remaining options related to authorization, right? So these were the uh, options which are available in authentication. And as I told, we'll see uh, in the next section uh, related to authorization, like what we can do with our logged in users, uh, how we can enable anonymous read access, 